A controversial plan to mine the seabed off South Taranaki drew school kids, iwi environmentalists and Taranaki surfers out in protest today. Trans Tasman Resources has been trying to secure consent to mine iron sand from the seafloor for a decade, but its attempts have been continually knocked back. Now, a new expert panel is considering its application and, as Isabel Ewing reports, it's created a tricky situation for Minister Shane Jones. New faces taking part in a protest which is more than a decade old for their South Taranaki community. No, I can't believe we're still here. Um, well, and we probably wouldn't be here if we didn't have a government that was so intent on, um, intent on fast track and or effectively shortcut politics. And Nati Ruanui are getting tired of the fight. Iwi Chair Hamoana Maruera telling the lawyers representing the mining company we've had enough. <laughs> Trans-Tasman Resources first sought consent to mine iron sand off Patia in 2013. It's since been knocked back by several court decisions. A dismissed appeal in the Supreme Court landed it back here, before an independent panel which will hear from TTR why it should be permitted to extract up to 50 million tonnes of sand from the seabed each year. The company wants to mine critical mineral vanadium, used to make batteries for large-scale energy storage. Vanadium itself is, um, it might be good for the renewable energy industry, but not at the expense of turning the South Taranaki Bight into industrial mine site. New Zealand First coalition agreement includes an aim to investigate the strategic opportunities in mineral resources, including vanadium, and develop a plan to develop these opportunities. In a statement to News Hub, TTR said TTR or any of its representatives has at no time ever lobbied New Zealand First or any of its MPs regarding any mining projects. And in video obtained by News Hub, Shane Jones indicated last week he was distancing himself from the project. You know, I'm the Minister of Fisheries as well as Mining and Natural Resources and I've stood aside from that particular project so that can, there can be no allegation that I favoured mining or I favoured fisheries. That seems an interesting move from the Minister. Obviously, you know, being the uh, Minister for Fisheries, uh, you know, he's potentially uh, in an awkward situation given that the seafood industry is not supporting that. Trans Tasman Resources says that 22 k's offshore from here at Partia, a billion dollar project is waiting to be approved. It says it would employ 350 people directly and support 1,600 jobs across the country. But these surfers who travelled from New Plymouth to attend the hearing aren't so sure. They feel buoyed by the change of government and their approach which doesn't seem to take into consideration the environment whatsoever at the moment anyway, that's the impression I'm getting. But after so many years trying to get this across the line, Trans-Tasman Resources is deeply invested. Well, Isabel is with us now. Kia ora, Isabel. What are the chances of this going through? Well, Mike, despite the opposition, and it is strong here in South Taranaki, Trans-Tasman Resources is confident in its environmental conditions. And it would seem by the inclusion of vanadium, the metal that they want to mine from the seafloor, included in NZ First Coalition Agreement, perhaps that the government is looking to prioritise this project. However, it is tricky for Shane Jones, both as Fisheries Minister and Resources Minister, to OK this when the fishing industry is so vehemently opposed. Also important to note New Zealand has signed up to a moratorium on seabed mining but that is in international waters which Shane Jones says is separate from the domestic regime so for seabed mining here in South Taranaki watch this space. Isabel,